everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we actually have this big old load here. We have this huge, if you guys can see this big old dozer type thing. You know, you get my flashlight out here. So you have this huge thing here on this trailer. And we have to haul it all the way across Elm um, Creek. Now, it has to be uh, to this campground that there just could be moving a lot of bigger rocks around. So they want to get a crane and dump these in here. And, dude, look at this. It's a super heavy load. So right now, as you guys can see, it is 2.38 a.m. The roads are not going to be as populated, so that's why we're hauling it now. This is the biggest truck I could find, guys. It's a pretty big truck, but hopefully it'll do the job. And then we got it all connected, so, uh, okay. And I already did all my safety checks and everything. Everything's got air. All the hoses are connected. So it's now we can hop in. Go ahead and start the engine. Do it all these lights on see all these lights and uh, i guess we can keep going and as you guys can see here we should be good on fuel and service because we just got the truck serviced and everything but there is one downside i am flowing it right now and it doesn't this truck is not gonna go that fast and we might have to stop and readjust the load. I got the keys to this. I don't know what you want to call this. Dump truck. Big dump truck. I don't know. I got the keys to it because they gave them to me. Because they knew that I was going to need them to unload and stuff. And load. Now coming up this hill. It's also seeming to uh, go down. If you guys liked the video. You drop a like and subscribe if you're new. It would help out a lot, and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And but I don't, I don't know if we we're supposed to go this way, but hopefully we were. Yeah, we were. And if you guys subscribe, that'd be great because we've been getting you know, a good amount of views, which is awesome, but not many subscribers. And we're trying to get monetized someday, and I can do way more for you guys if I'm monetized. So go ahead and subscribe below, please. I was able to have the uh, county uh, approve these flags because I want to get these just so that everybody can see. And uh, I don't know why those lights aren't on on the back of the trailer. Here, let me stop here. But I think I might have missed my wire check. Because uh, last time I checked, those are supposed to be... Uh, those, those lights right there are supposed to be on and they're not. So uh, i got to fix that. thing has lights now. You can see there's lights on the side and everything. So, I had the wires hooked up from here. I'll show you guys. I had the wires hooked up from here to here. And I thought everything was good. But little did I know. I I, I thought I, ha I had these plugged in too. But I thought that I had these plugged in. And somehow I missed all of these. I don't know how I did. Good thing we got them hooked up though. Hopefully, no I'm glad that no like, state troopers or anything came through. And I'm glad we were right in front of the firehouse in case anything did go wrong. Not saying I'll catch a fire, but any like anything bad. I just can't tell this truck is very eco friendly. You can see by the exhaust there. And this is actually the uh TL or this is the um This is the TLX Phoenix, I think it or it's just the Phoenix, I don't really know, but it's a Phoenix truck by uh eighty two square studio. If you guys have not checked out any of his mods and you guys play farming simulator, I recommend you do because he is he puts a lot of work into it, and in my opinion, he is one of the best modders for all platforms. He's probably the best modder for all platforms. He struggles out on all platforms too, which is great. Ooh, got, got a swing a lot here, and the oh, uh, are we gonna jackknife? No, okay, I thought we were gonna jackknife there. Kind of did a little bit. Stupid cars running the way. Whoa! That was almost bad. We almost ended up in that pond. There's no bad that would be. If we were in the pond, I'd probably get fired. Okay. Uh, I gotta pull my direction. I can't even get straight here. Alright, I'll pull my directions on the phone real quick. Speeding here so I can have enough uh, momentum to get up this hill. I hope and then I'm gonna make it, be able to make it up. Alright, our load has shifted a little bit, 
We're gonna have to get off soon. I'm pretty sure we're almost there. That color was on my phone. I for um uh I forgot to turn the camera back on after a few miles, but it's perfectly fine though, because it was just a long windy road. What do I turn here? Alright, yes, I turn here. This is gonna be awful. I might not mm, I'm gonna try oh uh yeah, that was not me. We're just gonna uh what was that? A stop sign I think, yeah. We're just gonna put that in the back of this. I'm gonna have to throw it up here. Alright. That wasn't me guys. Okay, good thing that's not a cop. We should also probably get on the right side of the road. It's beautiful out here though. Oh! I don't know what is up with my truck, man. I, I, I'm not steering it like this. That's not me. Alright, well, I have full gun right now, and... I just don't think it has the power to be able to make it up this. Might have to go get a push, or unload it. Alright guys, so this farmer here with this huge tractor, he's going to get himself a trick real quick from his house. Dude, look at this thing though. It's a big bud, 747 with triples on it. But, I mean, look at the exhaust pipe, to, just to go to the exhaust from the engine. Just that I know it duels it does that, like, imagine that. I mean, this thing is crazy, it has a couple of thousand horsepower. And, but, <laughs> the funniest thing is, the only thing he found is this tiny little winch to put on here. But he's gonna help us up, so that's gonna be great. He's gonna go ahead. He's just gonna yank us all the way up to the top of the hill, and then we have a little bit more distance after that to get up, which it should be great because we, uh, yeah, don't need much. Right, we gotta say thank you to that farmer here we just did, and uh, we're, we're gonna be doing great now. I mean, the truck is almost out of fuel because I left it at idle, and it was a long drive because, uh, I'm I, I'm not really sure how much I didn't record. I don't I'm not I forgot how long it was that I didn't have the camera on, but I didn't have the camera on for a lot. But here we are across the state of uh let's see. We are across the state of Elm Creek at Oak Hollow Caves. Now we got. I'm gonna. They said that they'd like it if we could pull through instead of driving this thing because I don't want the um. That big old machine to dig ruts on their uh, walking trails. They said for some reason they'd rather have us take the semi. So I don't know how that's gonna go. But I don't know what happened. But ever since that hill, now this truck wants to go like a beast. And it is perfect. It'll like somehow it's making it up this perfectly fine. And. I think we should be good. Whoa, we should be good for a while here. Oh, yeah. I don't know how the trailer's doing, or the load. Oh, the brakes just went out. Alright. Load's doing perfectly fine. Just sit at the bottom of the hill, there'll be like a spot, and you'll know where the, uh, the lake waterfall, where all the big rocks are. But I don't know where that is. But I'm going to assume that it's closer to where it looks like it is down there. So, oh, this is definitely just a walking path. This truck is definitely not going to make it back up. Oh, okay. Well, the truck just shut off here. Uh, we just hit. Oh, we just damaged up the whole entire front of the truck. Look at how far off the ground that is. That's awful. Uh... Maybe we can pay the farmer to come get us out. I don't really know how this... That charger's not going to fit back here. Well, I guess now I'll just drive this. This is on the wrong side. I'll just drive this down the mountain to get to this, to this spot. But it's just a small hill and this thing's huge. So it can make it down there. It's perfectly fine. They still were, the, they were cutting these like in half and trying to get those out. Because they're apparently they're too big for them. And so, we're just going to tell him it's delivered, and I'm going to go ahead and park it right here. Right on this cliff side. Meh, I'll turn the battery off, I don't want to be rude. Thank you guys for watching, this was crazy, crashed the truck, couldn't make it up the hill. 
uh, tires are like halfway sunk under the rock. I don't really know. Thank you guys for watching. Just put a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.